Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple pinion and gear mechanism in SOLIDWORKS with the help of design library. Both the gear we will take from the design library and we will do animation. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. It's easy simple easy process. Now here let's start to build a pinion and gear mechanism. So select the open the SOLIDWORKS. Select here new assembly. OK. Both the pinion and gear we are taking from the design library. Just cancel it. I prefer plain white background. And now here you can see here design library. In design library you will find here toolbox. Click on the toolbox. And here it will ask you add in now. If it is not added you have to click here add in now. Now it's going to add, that's it. Here it's add. So we will bring the select and see inches. In inches, you will go and find out the power transmission. Now here you will find out gears inside the power transmission. And see here is straight bevel pinion and bevel gear. So first we will bring the straight bevel pinion. So just click and drag. Now this is the our pinion. Now here we will define the change the dimensions whatever we required. Uh, I already studied before so the dimension will come as it is what I studied before. Diameter pitch 5 mm. Teeth 16 mm. And the gear number of teeth 49 mm. The pressure angle let us 20 face width 1.5 mm hub diameter this is the hub diameter 1.5 the mounting distance 6 and this is 1 by 32 mm shaft diameter now select here ok now it is asking you need one more so click here cancel now right click on this pinion and click float now it is floating again go to design library and select here straight bevel gear now this is the window 5 mm diameter pitch 49 mm teeth here and uh, number of pitch let's say 16 this is a pinion number of teeth pressure angle 20 face width 1.5 and uh, 3 hub diameter mounting distance also 3 and this is 1 by 1 half half inch half mm so this is your normal diameter shaft select ok Now it is calculating. OK. Now see, just drag our rotate. OK. Now try to rotate near to this. Now it's time to define some motion study, some mats. So select here first top plane mat and select this face. Coincident relation, OK. This is the top face. Now rotate. Okay. Now select here origin point mat and select this hole and make relation here cocentric. Okay, okay. That's it.
now select straight bevel pinion open it and here you will see base revolve select this base show now this geometry show you can see go to gear here also base revolve select the base pro sk show now see you can see here one geometry here also now it is very important we want to choose make some mat here select mat select both the end point clear not line you make sure center point and this point coincide coincident relation okay select here okay now select select this geometry and hide okay now we will see another pinion just select temporary axis now you can see here temporary axis of pinion select mat and select the front plane coincident okay okay now again choose mat select both the center axis and make relation perpendicular okay now here we will select okay now it's time to see it is rotating so we will give the gear and pinion ratio first we have to adjust the teeth position see here so that it will not match during rotation okay now hide this temporary axis now choose mat select here mechanical mat gear and in gear first select this inside hole then select this hole and here make the ratio 16 mm by 49 mm this is the gear ratio select okay okay now let me rotate any one gear see it's beautifully rotating you can see here or you can this gear so this is the mechanism gear and pinion mechanism we, we make with the help of our design library so let's give some animation select motion manager go to motion study now this is the animation window here make sure animation first we will define the properties keep frame rate 25 now drag the assembly up to 16 mm select motor and i i prefer this hole pinion hole as a face and keep rpm 110 mm make sure rotary motor okay now select here calculate now see it is calculating now 
now calculation complete so just select play drop down this menu and you can see this is the gear and pinion mechanism or you can say motion study i hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks don't forget to share and share and like our videos thanks for watching